so these are going to be a few tips and tricks that will help you with the currency design project. I have two files opened up in Photoshop, a picture of uh, the person that you're going to use to make into that sketch look for your bill, and then also um, one of some textured paper. This will be the background basis for the bill, so I'm just going to set it to like 7 by 3 all bills are different sizes, but it seems to be a pretty decent size. When you have this open, you can do some really cool stuff just with color overlay and things like that. So I would unlock this layer and look at some of these options. One being a color overlay if you want to do one solid color, or you can do a gradient overlay, which will allow you to do almost like um, any set of colors that you'd like um, for the bill. You can then change the direction of it if you wanted to pick it in a specific direction and then obviously you'd want to adjust your blend mode so that it blends nicely with the um, the background of the of the picture so whichever color you think looks nice and you can adjust opacity if you'd like and you're ready to start bringing elements into the design now as far as the picture goes couple things you're going to want to do first. First thing you want to do is turn it to a black and white image. Um, you want to be able to get as much of the highlights and shadows as possible. So I did a little adjustment to my levels. I increased the highlights output and increased the shadows output and then just kind of adjusted this accordingly. That's looking a little bit better. Um, I also use this smooth or surface blur under the filter options. And that just kind of smooths out the photo a bit. If you still think it needs a little work, maybe I'll just get a little bit more highlight going in this picture. That looks a little bit better now. Okay. So now this photo, I can start putting some filter effects and applying them to it to get that uh, sketch look. I may blend two together. So I'm going to do two different effects on the first one. I'm going to use one of the halftone pattern options. Now, if it gives you some weird colors, you want to make sure you have black and white for your default color settings. And go to your filter gallery, and you can choose whatever contrast you think looks good, the size for the dots, and click OK. Then you can go to the other layer and do another one. There's a ton of filter options that may look good for the dollar bill design. You just have to pick the right one out. So you can go through all these and um, try some that you think look good. And hopefully you'll find one that works for you. Um, like I said, there's no right or wrong. A lot of them you can just, a lot of results that I get is just by, you know, adjusting and messing with the design. I'm going to do the lines and the dots as well. I'm going to take those two and blend together. So I'm going to take that top layer and blend it down to the bottom. Try out some different blending modes, see which one I think looks best. Um, overlay looks okay to me, so I'm going to leave that. I'm going to just lower the opacity of that first layer. And there's the before and after. Okay, what I'll do next is merge these two layers together so I just have one layer that I'm going to bring over to my bill. Then I'll duplicate it, send it over to the bill layer, click go, or to the bill document. I have her picture now. Let's get it scaled to a proper size for the bill. And you can decide where you want to put her on this bill. Maybe you want to put her over to the right, kind of like how a $100 bill is, maybe a little bit off there. Um, we obviously need to work on the background color. You get a lot of good results just by changing your blending mode. Find one that you like. Um, color burn works pretty well. Multiply works pretty well. Now you'll notice I still have this darker difference here in between the two. So you can still go up to your layers and adjust your um, adjustment, make a, a levels adjustment. Brighten it up. Until it looks decent. Sorry, that's my phone ringing in the background. Um, if she looks 
good here then. Maybe you want to still bring down the opacity a bit and see if there's any other adjustments you want to make. So I'm starting to get a look of a bill. A lot of times they have that face stand out a little bit more so they'll do like a, a cutout behind there or a circle. So you can do some things like that. Let's say I did a circular piece here, an oval shape. Um, I might make that on a new layer and I'll fill it with a color, edit fill, white, okay. Um, overlay would, might look good and you can fade that in or you can just leave it as um, normal and fade it down that way too just so it kind of stands out a little bit you could add outlines to this with your layer styles if you wanted to do a drop shadow of some sort uh, you can make all those adjustments all these have blending mode options that you can change too for your design. And when you start doing all your numbers and text, you can do the same thing. Don't just leave your text as a solid colored text. It doesn't look very natural. Like you don't have that texture there. So you can choose, you know, one of your blending modes that you think looks nice for some of your build design as well. So those are just some features. Like I said, a lot of it will just be you messing with blending modes and finding cool filters. Um, pay close attention to the detail in your bills. The more elements you add to make it look realistic, the better the final result's going to look.